are you? My name is Cindy Hurst. I'm a black, independent, female filmmaker. And I love all things black. What is your idea of a strong black man? A strong black man is a person who stands up for his country that does the right thing to make sure everybody has what they need and a man that takes a stand in his country that makes sure that everybody has the same rights. In making this documentary, I knew what I had an idea of the things that I wanted to discuss. I want to deal with patriarchy and white male patriarchy. I want to deal with the things that happened during Reconstruction and modern day oppression. The challenge for me was finding the right voices, finding the right people to help me have this discussion. first heard about the, the documentary, I was excited about it because it does need to be, um, it needs to be discussed amongst us. And we can share what we, the knowledge we have, and spread that to other people. I, I honestly believe that. The vibe she gave me was that it was more so on a organic type of feel where, whereas kind of like Gil Scott Heron, bringing some of those sounds back are just that vibe that gives you like, hey, it's organic. Everything is happening. It's live, it's live music, it's live instruments, the whole thing. I'm Roger Robinson, and I've been in video production since 1992, professional since 1992. I've shot from as far east as New York City to as far west as Las Vegas, to as far north as what, Chicago, Illinois. And I've also done some shooting in the Bahamas. I can honestly say that this project is the most significant project I have ever, ever been a part of. Every person in college, and it doesn't matter if you're in an HBCU or not, Every person in college needs to see this project or one like it because everyone is going to have to deal with, with our blackness. The Black Lives Matter movement started and people were saying Black Lives Matter. And I was like, but what does that mean? What is the definition of the Black in the Black Lives Matter? So when I started thinking about uh, really working on a documentary, I started thinking about how do we define that? How do we define Blackness? And even more specifically, how do Black men define themselves? That's a really good question. What is my definition of masculinity? I think probably for me, when I think about masculinity. I think masculinity, as it relates to the black man, is being overwhelmingly defined by media. Black men in the United States are threatened, not appreciated, misperceived. It's funny that I work with black men but I haven't thought about a lot about my definition of masculinity. And oftentimes mischaracterized in intentional ways that are aimed at increasing our marginalization. I think it would be all of the attributes that um, a person brings with them when they're born male, um, and the ways that they manifest it. Um, but it can be a range of things, particularly in today's society. Uh, I, I think the, the persona 
of the black man is being shaped for us by external forces. To be black and male and free is by definition in the society to be dangerous and threatening. Oftentimes when I talk about creating a, a documentary, I, I call it being pregnant with an idea. And that's, when I say pregnant, it means that I have thought of an idea, something, a question that I want answered. My curiosity is piqued and it turns into a film. Once I start um, working on that documentary, that baby begins to grow. I begin to uh, read different things, talk to different people. I might start filming. I might start pulling other people into it and I'm nurturing that baby and the baby is growing. Ultimately, I get to a point where the baby is being born, which is the state where I am right now. But there's always a point during that birthing process that I recognize that it's not my baby. It's no longer my baby. It becomes the baby of the community because it was conceived with the love that I have for the community. So when I give birth to this child, I have to present it to the community. And that's what this whole documentary is for. And that's what the sponsors get from this. They have played a role and are playing a role in the nurturing of that baby. I'm just the surrogate. You know, they are the doctors, they are the midwives, they are the formula, they're all of the different things to help this child grow and be what it can be. So I can't do it by myself. I need all of those, those different uh, sources to help me give birth to a healthy baby. What are some of the things that you really admire about your dad? That he takes care of me and that he loves me very much and wants me to grow up to be a great, strong man. I think the research that you're doing uh, is really, really important. Uh, these questions of masculinity are things that I don't think about even though I guess I should give it the space that I'm in. And as someone who has used documentaries for classes that I've taught, they're great in terms of helping to frame issues and then how do you take that issue that's been framed for you and then apply it to your location and then create steps. I think that's the power of documentaries like this where people get to hear from a lot of people, a lot of different people from all around the country and helps to frame the issue. Some people have uh, pretty much written us off as black men. And this, I hope this documentary brings that back to the forefront so we will be able to teach our sons, our, our nephews, our cousins, you know, our male counterparts that we come in touch with. Hey, it's okay to be a man. You know, that's, that's what I hope to do. This project allows the black voice to respond to black questions and a black questioner about subjects that black people live but often do not get a chance to see presented on film. This is something that is going to lift individuals up and those individuals are going to lift families up and those families are going to lift communities up and those communities are going to lift cities, townships, counties, states, nations. That's the potential that this project has. And I thank you for that because it allows us to talk as black people, sister and brother, about the family. And that's important. This is gonna change the world.